Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get here with the truth. So today I'm continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as we look at my number four light heavyweight in the world right now, the uh, former world title challenger, um, Maxim Vlasov. Vlasov entered the year not ranked, but he was directly in line for a, a world title shot against Joe Smith Jr. That opportunity presented itself in April. Him and Joe Smith would lock horns for the vacant belt. And um, there was a lot of people that felt Joe Smith was going to win. But I was one of the people that felt it was going to be a very close fight. Because Maxim Vlasov is a guy that fought all the way up at a competitive level at cruiserweight. This is a guy that could take shots. He's a veteran. And I felt like with his style, he was going to give Joe Smith tr some trouble. And he did. It was a, ended up being a very good fight between the two. They went at it. And... Um, Joe Smith eked out a hard-fought 12-round majority decision in a close fight. Vlasov got the, uh, you know, got the worst of it. He came up on the short end, but it was a good performance out of him that potentially sets himself up for more uh, things coming forward, like, um, you know, maybe a, uh, a title shot at some point. So, you know, another title shot at some point and opportunities. You know, a, a performance like that always gives you a potential opportunity at something else afterwards, you know, uh, finishing in a close fight. So he returned in December, took on Felix Valera, and got a die. Scored three knockdowns and route and route to a one-sided unanimous ten-round unanimous decision. And we're gonna see um, how he enters 2022. He's uh, he's he wasn't ranked before, so he moves all the way up to number four. That shows um, the the performance that he had against Joe Smith and where Joe Smith is as a fighter. Um, 35 years old, so he's getting up there. This might be his last run to become a world champion that is starting in 2022. Um, he's 46 and 4, 26 knockouts, and he's a WBO's number four contender. So this guy could end up in some kind of an eliminator. He can fight somebody. You know, I think I think he needs to be the first call for a lot of fighters, um, and you know that way he can get that opportunity. I think he needs to really be in line and put himself in position to fight for a world title but we got to see how everything shakes out so um that's what i got um on my number uh my number four light heavyweight in the world at 175 pounds the former world title challenger maxime vlasov as my 2020 2021 year-end top tens continue i hope you guys enjoyed it true boxing You've been hit with the truth.